my name's Kate Bowers and I'm going to give you a very quick tour of our camper van where we home educate our children. So coming from the front of the van, this is um, basically a removable table that comes out when we're driving. Um, we've got the home ed whiteboard there um, that the kids kind of put their own things on really. Um, a couple of pieces came off there recently and went into their home ed folders. Um, really basic cooking area, um, simple kitchen and lots of storage underneath but the key thing for us in building this camper van was having lots and lots of storage for home ed uh, resources so we've got the home ed box at the bottom um, at the moment the Lego box is out and it's in our TP tent um, so the home ed box at the bottom is all academic books um, things like journals and workbooks the Lego is the one above um, this one is more sort of um, like craft based this is all um, board games some educational some not just standard family board games um, and this one here is for jigsaws again some are educational some not so educational so there might be phonics jigsaws in there there's uh, number jigsaws there's world maps and then there's just you know marvel jigsaws all kinds really um, and obviously clothes storage is a big one for a family of four um, and then we've managed to squeeze in a, a, a library as well. So this is where my husband and I sleep. So we've got a double bed and then we've got the two bunks on top. Um, and the kids have got a little bit of storage up there as well. And they have got fairy lights, but they're not on at the moment. Um, and then this is our library area. And there's another shelf down there as well. Um, we do use the tablets, um, the Amazon Fire tablets because you can sort of limit what they go on there and, and they've got lots of audible books and things. And then just outside you'll be able to see my husband sorting things out, but that's our TP tent. Um, and lots of learning goes on in there, but let, to be fair, one of the reasons that we road school, as we call it, uh, and you know the home ed community call it, um, is because we can educate on the beach or in museums or in the community basically um, all around the world um, and this morning's lessons will take place down at the beach. Really exciting. Tears of water the on the floor. So. Water dripping from the sky. Big splodges of water on the floor. Smell wet grass, very windy. I hear the water gush gushing wildly. 